Got another organic mechanisms question for you to try. So we're up to number 11 now. There it is there. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so we've got to react hydrocarbon A with bromine to form this product here. Now, I don't know about you, but my students don't quite like that sort of representation, that structural formula representation. So what I would suggest is draw the displayed formula of that. And obviously then I'm going to turn it into skeletal formula because the mechanism is using skeletal formula. Okay, so there's my um, sort of displayed. It's not quite displayed, is it? Because you've got CH3 condensed there. But anyway, it makes this, I think, a lot easier to visualise. So we've got the this carbon here with three methyl groups around it. And we've got this carbon with the hydrogen and the bromine on. And then CH3 at the end there. So in terms of skeletal formula now, it looks like this. So obviously the substitution that's taking place, it's happened here. Okay, so moving on to the mechanism now. So the initiation step is where we take the bromine molecule and the UV radiation breaks the covalent bond between the two bromine atoms by homolytic fission and produces two bromine radicals. So you can represent it like I've done there, or you could just put a two here. So for the first propagation step, we're going to take one of those bromine radicals and it wants an electron basically. So what it's going to do is take a hydrogen. Remember the substitution's happening here. So it's going to take a hydrogen from here and its electron. It's going to form an HBr molecule. And what's left of this will be a radical. Now, Notice we've got to use the dots and show the position of the unpaired electron. So basically we need a dot on this carbon here. So there's that radical there. The second propagation step is where we take this radical here and react it with a bromine molecule. And basically that's going to generate the product. So what's happening there is this radical is taking um, one of these bromines and its electron to stabilize this, that's obviously going to produce that. So what's left over is a bromine radical. So moving on to the final part of the question. Now you'll notice we haven't been asked anything about termination equations or reactions yet. Often you have to write termination equations as, as part of a question like this, but we haven't here. And that's because you can bring termination into um, part of this answer. So the kind of things I would be saying here would be um, there's more than one termination step possible. One of the termination reactions would involve the uh, reaction of two of these radicals and that would generate a very odd looking um, hydrocarbon, which is obviously not this product here. So that's obviously a limitation. So that's the kind of thing I would write there. More than one termination step possible, e.g. formation of this thing here, which obviously due to two of these combining. Another reason you can give is down to the fact that bromine radicals are reformed in the second propagation step and they could then start stripping out the next hydrogen and so on. So you get multiple substitutions occurring, which obviously would create dibromo, tribromo, etc. products, which is not this. So something like that, further substitution possible, e.g. leading to the formation of, and I've just gone for the dibromo product. Now, I've already answered the question because I've said two limitations, but you might have gone for this one, so I'll talk about it now. It's linked to this first propagation step. So remember we said that to form the desired product, this thing here, that substitution happened at this carbon. Well, this bromine radical can take hydrogen from there, could take hydrogen from here or here or here. So basically you can say that substitution can occur anywhere um, on the carbon chain. So that's how you could say that substitution can occur anywhere, e.g. leading to the formation of, and I've just put the bromine on carbon, on that first carbon instead of the second one. 